Hello my friends, this is Wayne here once again for the Let's Play Get Gaming channel, bringing you Dark Souls 2, episode number 11. Now this is the first episode of my second ever Dark Souls 2 play and recording session. Now, as you guys know, as I told you last week during last week's uh, release date, or day before release date recording session, I was going to be very, very busy the following week due to work. So, I have not only not had time to play Dark Souls 2, I have not also not had any time at all to record Dark Souls 2. This is a completely blind let's play. I would not call it a walkthrough because, let's face it folks, I have not been doing too well when it comes to taking on certain bosses in this game so far, such as uh, Cough Cough. The Dragon Rider, who whooped my ass several times before I finally managed to defeat him. But, we do have some good news, and I have a strategy that I'm going to share with you guys that I will put into action in this particular episode. So we have the Greatsword plus one. 220 damage plus 64, that is a freaking beastly weapon already. The Ultra Greatsword, if you care to check the item info, look at that. We have, uh, oh crap, I've unequipped it. What am I doing with my life? So, yeah, I'm still getting used to the controls. Uh, a, great, a straight sword with a very long blade, one of the few ultra great swords. No human was ever intended to wield such a sword of this weight or destructiveness. And yet, here we have Sir Bacon the Fourth looking awesome. Now, what I want to do is find more Titanite shards. I also, this is where the strategy part comes in, folks. I am going to get used to the Knight Helm and the uh, Knight Armor now because look how much more awesome this looks. Uh, I am going to prioritize uh, really, really working on my survival skills in this episode onwards. Therefore, I'm going to wield the slightly weaker armor. Although it's not technically weaker because it has a much stronger scaling with physical defense than the falconer armor does. So this episode, we're going to go straight into this awesome looking heavy armor build and focus on our scaling rather than our regular Titanite Shard imbued armor. So that is strategy part one. Strategy part two, my friends, is I have been fully exploring everywhere possible when it comes to Dark Souls 2, but one thing I have yet to do is actually go back and re-explore areas now that I am a little bit more experienced with the world and its surroundings. So what I'm going to do in this particular episode is backtrack to areas that I have already been to to see if new areas have opened or to see if I have missed anything because don't forget folks we got quite a lot of new items we've got a few keys we got a lot of other cool stuff uh, from the boss battles but also from our general exploration we also encountered a lot of locked doors at the beginning so that's something that I'm gonna go back and check out right now to see if we've actually missed anything or not We've also discovered quite a few NPCs, so I'm going to pull this lever and we're going to head back to the usual route into the Forest of Fallen Giants to see if we have missed anything at all. So I've still got my blue shield, I would quite like a great shield at some point, but this ultra great sword, I, I cannot stop wielding it two handed because look at it, it's bloody glorious, even though we can technically wield it one handed now, we are the correct level in strength and dexterity, and we also have the load uh, the stamina load in order to actually wield it properly. So all is well. We have a nice heavy armor set. We are looking pretty beastly right now. Uh, do I have some arrows equipped? I don't think I even have a bow. Uh, I don't. Oh, I believe that to be my club. Is that correct? No. What the hell is that on my back? I've got something sticking through my back. I'm going to keep my club equipped though. Rings. For some reason, I'm not equipped. I do not have my rings equipped. That's very odd, very odd indeed, but we've now uh, re-equipped our uh, Calorinthy Ring and Ring of Life Protection for a health boost and a stamina regeneration boost as well. All boosts are good in my eyes. So we're going to make our way back to this first bonfire here. Now, if you guys recall, at least I... Oh yes, I love this sword, I love this sword. We're going to pick up this item for hollow infantry boots. We, we've still got a lot of stuff that we can trade back to that uh, drunken dwarf in the No Man's Wharf area of the game, which I also need to re-explore. Uh, we have, there's some treasure up here and I can't figure out how to actually get up there. That's beautiful. I love this sword so much. But we took quite a bit of damage there from uh, an arrow, so what I'm going to do is equip uh, one-handed and uh, charge him with our shield ablazing as well as our blade. 
Uh, gonna block again while my stamina reheals. Kill this some bitch. We couldn't one hit him, and that's uh, quite odd. So we need to focus on finding some Titanite shards as well. Because right now, that's the treasure I was talking about. Look at that. We've got some treasure up there, and I can't figure out how to get it. Uh, also, folks, the online servers are still down here in the UK as of wherever the hell kind of day it is today. I really don't know what day it is. Let me check my telephonic communications device. Thursday the 20th of March. Thursday the 20th of March. And I am fresh off a 16-hour shift at work. I was at work yesterday from uh, 6 a.m. until 10 p.m. And somehow I still have the energy to complete a recording session today. But it's mainly just because I'm so excited to actually make some progress in this game. It's something that I haven't been able to do this past week, even though I've been begging to be able to play this game. That was beautiful. Well, one more. Get one more in. Lovely 320. So there's got to be a way to get that. Can I knock this down? Because that looks like one of those trees that you could knock down in the opening area of the game. Alas, it is not. I don't really want to run and <laughs> run and try to make that jump unless I could... Uh, nope, that's also too high. Hmm. So there is treasure there, and I just don't know how to get up there. It, maybe there's a path there, or maybe I can knock a tree down. I don't know. I, I shall return to this area again. But I know there's nothing else to explore up here. To my knowledge, we've already ex fully explored up there. The only thing that we could do was collect a bit of treasure and kill that ranger, who is probably going to try and catch us off guard. Who? Hey, where did you come from? You ugly bacon fed dust there. So I'm going to head back down, and I am getting high on coffee as we speak. Because, well, what's a game recording session on the Let's Play Kit Gaming channel without caffeine? I don't think I've ever gone without caffeine in a recording session. And uh, it's, it really does power me through. So, yes, we're going to kill all these guys as well for extra souls. Because, well, you can never have too many souls, can you, folks? You can never have too many souls in Dark Souls. Closing the title, Dark Souls. Okay, so we're going to kill this son bitch as well. And you, sir, who caught me off guard. I need to use an Estus Flask. Uh, we've got a bonfire just up the stairs though, so I'll probably restore there. We've got a pathway leading across them, maybe. You were your fire bombs! Bacon man! Yes! Glorious. So we've got a route over there, but that's the area that we can't get to. We've got a... Ooh! Ooh, okay. So we've actually got a secret pathway down there. We've got a... Drop that look, it looks like a drop there. And we've got another area to explore around here, so I'm thinking, are there any enemies down here, or, is, or am I just in? Oh no, there's actually a soul down there, so I'm thinking, if we rest at that bonfire and then potentially explore what the hell is down there, if we can actually get down there without dying, that would be pleasant. Yep, this definitely looks like a safe drop. We've got plenty of items uh, littered around this particular area, so maybe we're going to get to another area entirely. Kill this some bitch. 1,370 cells. So what I'm going to do is rest at, at this bonfire here. Lovely stuff. That's given us our Estus flasks back. Now we had some stairs here as well. And there was there. Uh, yep, something on a tree there. I, I recall this. All of these things are coming flooding back to me. So I remember this door being locked. Let's see if we can actually get in here. Soldier key. Oh, lovely stuff. So we can actually use the soldier key that we gained from defeating the last giant. Oh, look at this place. This place looks like it's, it's going to be f filled with hidden treasures behind all of these items. Small leather shield and repair powder. So nothing special, but to be fair, I should have came here a long time ago when we actually defeated the giant. So let's, uh, let's play the Legend of Zelda, shall we? And break the shit out of these pots to see if we've actually got anything else in here. Oh, this is Link's Paradise. Look at that. That is glorious. And we've got something else hidden behind these boxes now. So I'm going to use the right trigger attack to beat the shit out of everything in here. Lovely. That guy probably will come alive. We've got a hand axe and a radiant life gem. So the weird peculiar spaghetti monsters that cause bleeding also drop the radiant life gems, which are very, very good. They uh, speed up your healing process a bit more than regular life gems, from what I can tell from experimenting with them during the last play session. So that's something that we can consider farming uh, a little bit later on, of course, but uh, right now we are going to focus on getting some treasure from these these particular areas. Let's see what we've got in this chest. As I take a sip of my coffee while our gentleman, Sir Bacon the Fourth, picks up this item for an Estus Flask Shard and a small white soapstone. 
what is the so oh the sob stone is for the online servers but for some reason the online servers are still down which is odd because I've got a few friends also from the UK who I know personally who are also playing this at the same time as me uh, they have been playing online so maybe I've just got very unlucky today uh, allow me to get coffee before I time this jump oh yeah coffee for the win okay so this looks like if we time this right we should be able to get the treasure Pick up an item for a divine blessing. So we've got a new Estus Flask shard. That will give us four Estus Flasks rather than three. And four is better than three in terms of Estus Flasks. Because it will allow us, allow us to uh, be a little bit more reckless. So we can heal and explore. We've got a guy here. So we're going to plunge the shit out of this son of a bitch. Kill him. Oh no. That backfired. Oh he's got a friend. He's got a friend. How dare you sir. So that jump was indeed accurate. And what's a bastard is that we've been here and followed this route many times. There's a ladder leading down. We've got some souls here. Well, that's odd. That's very odd. Maybe I, maybe I did play off camera. Okay, apparently, at some point, I have been down here. That can't be right. That cannot be right. I've not been down here. I call bullshit on this. I definitely call bullshit on this. Because why would I come down here and not collect the items? Unless I've been down here in my last recording session? That's not right, surely. Unless I dropped down here and died, I'm genuinely baffled right now. That's probably more accurate, because I definitely have not been down here. All the enemies are still here. All the items are around. I think <laughs> I think I must have just died off camera, or died, felt falling down here and died, maybe. I don't know. Right. Upwards and onwards, after this confusing situation. Apparently, the game is believing that I've been here at some point in the past. Which is not accurate whatsoever. This is not accurate. I've definitely not been down here. I did not know this area existed until, what, five minutes ago? So, unless I've just dropped from here and died, which is... It, that does have potential. That's probably more likely than uh, me forgetting that I've been in a certain area. So, yes, let's just assume that I've fallen down. And with this being an area, my uh, body, souls, the last place I died was here. Falling from up there. That's the only thing, that's the only logical explanation. Okay, upwards and onwards, let's see what we've actually got down here. So we've got a tree leading down, with a cell on it. Soul of Lost Undead and an extra torch. I haven't really been using the torches at all. Uh, I probably should, but I've got the brightness turned all the way up for the sake of uh, the YouTube recording and the YouTube playthrough. Now, the reason for that is... Uh, with Dark Souls, if you don't have the brightness up, it doesn't really carry over to the YouTube uploading process if you do not have the brightness up. So, the reason I am... Oh, Christ, I hope that wasn't an NPC. No, it's just something turned to stone. So, have we got any treasure around here? Nothing at all. Oh, there's something up there. Is that is that correct? Is there something up there? It looks like there's something up there, but I can't see a route. So, we've got a path leading downwards with a lot of fire and a soul there. We've got a path leading upwards here. What I'm going to do is check this path first and see what we've got. Oh, that's that ladder leading downwards. So the only reason that we've gone that way basically is just for the extra treasures. I have no idea about that item up there though. How the blue fuck do I get that? Unless there's another way to drop down on that side maybe. It looks like we could potentially drop that way and get that item there. So... We'll, we'll, we'll investigate, folks. This episode is all about reinvestigating the old areas. And we've got some more life gems now. Three extra life gems. We can't get in there. Now, that looks like the area inside the Cardinal's Tower, where the elevator shaft is. But we can't head downwards. And this is blocked off, and we can't get in there. Okay. I'm just going to mash the A button, thanks to a method that one of my friends, B1, uh, mentioned. Uh, apparently, even if you do get secret walls that you can't break open with uh, the, your sword, you can sometimes hit the A button and that will trigger a secret hidden switch and the door will open. Uh, one place that he did mention was in the area where we met Pate. 
so yes, that's something I'm gonna uh, have to investigate because uh, apparently there's a secret treasure room where Pate is. Oh god, there's a big lizard. He's probably gonna blow fire here. That's why there's fire. Yes, there we go. Okay, so how the hell am I gonna do this? Oh fuck, where did you come from? Getting ambushed, folks. Ambushed. Bros everywhere. Two Estus flasks, so we've still got a little bit of uh, exploration behind us as long as we can uh, actually avoid these attacks. I'm gonna front face, heal, and bitch slap this some bitch if, if I can actually get a hit in. There we go. 335 damage, and that bro is dead. 3,290 souls. So now we need to time this and hopefully get past this lizard. Or at least get to the end and then bitch slap him. Soul of a Proud Knight. So how far does this fireball go? There. So we're safe here. So we're going to charge in. Bitch slap this lizard. Oh fuck, that's a dead end. Run away. We must leave this place. Okay, so we narrowly avoided that attack. There's a skeleton there. There looks like to be a path on the left-hand side there. A door. Okay, so uh, let's wait for his next fireball. Then we'll go and see what we've got in there. In we pop open quick quickly quickly oh shit oh it's just a chest hopefully it's not a trapped chest i'm gonna roll it the way just in case nope just an item a fire long sword fair enough let me check this out long sword fire long sword so it's it's a c scale in magic attack so if we raise our fire magic uh, we can actually use that as a very good sword let's see what it looks like a long sword. Slightly a red air, but still a long sword nonetheless. I'm going to go with my great sword still, and then we're going to wait for his fireballs to go. I'm going to run! Because we have multiple paths to check out. I know I need to head back to Pate, thanks to uh, my good friend B1, telling me that I need to head back to Pate for some treasure. Not too sure what tr what treasure it may be, but we've already found one secret Estus Flask Shard using the soldier's key above the area where the merchant was at the Cardinal Cardinal's uh, Tower Bonfire. We know that we've got another treasure item across the way there. I can't see a way around it. Uh, we've also got some treasure where we fought that peculiar knight. The NPC who was just sitting there wallowing in self-pity or whatever. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot these guys have respawned. Am I going to get caught off guard? No. Right, so I'll fuck this. I'm just going to sprint all the way up. I'm going to use the ladder. And we're not going to waste any time. I'm going to climb up. I'm going to sprint climb. There we go. Uh, I'm going to rest straight at the bonfire and then try to find a way into that other area for the remainder of that treasure. Rest of the bonfire. Okay. Let's check this out. So we know that there's another secret item across the way there, but I can't seem to find a way across to it. There's a, a stairwell leading down. Can I actually drop down this this part? Hmm. I can't. I definitely can't drop down that part. Maybe. Oh yeah, I forgot you were there. Well, I'm gonna have to respawn again. <laughs> Fuck you up, son. There we go. So that bro's dead. So let's rest at the bonfire again. I cannot see a way across that route there. So I think uh, we'll rest at the bonfire again. Head back down and find the treasure in Pate's room. I can't because the gate is locked. I think I've just permanently missed that treasure. Let's head back just in case. 319 damage. Not bad at all. Oh shit balls. Fuck. I forgot about this guy. Damn I feel like a rookie all over again. It's been a week so I've missed... Like, quite a lot of playtime when it comes to uh, Dark Souls 2. So there's no way down there. The lift does potentially go down, but maybe there's a way to jump off. Oh, God. This is, uh, this is... There's a lot to explore when you're playing a game like this blind and you have no idea what you are doing. So that lift leads down, but there's no way off. That just leads straight down. Right, so there's got to be a way down here. Maybe this door leads down. Produce the symbol of the king. We do not have that yet. Uh, is this anything at all? Nope. Just dead ends down below. I was thinking maybe this door potentially leads to the platform where that other piece of treasure is. What warrants a symbol of a king? I think it's going to end up being something that we get. It's not going to be a ring. Apostles of the blue. 
It could end up being a ring, the symbol of the king, a ring. A cheeky little riddle. But we don't have any symbols of the king. We're probably going to get that from actually killing. Are you alive? No, you're dead, son. Probably going to be something that we get for killing the king or something. I assume we're going to have to kill the king. We usually do. Kings usually die. Let's head up the tree. Uh, we've been this way, so it's literally... I wonder if that dragon slayer thing... Uh, the dragon... The, the thing that appears on the crow... Appears again. Because if he does, we probably stand more of a chance of killing him this time. Than we did, than we did the first time, and we didn't really do too well. Let's head up here. Otherwise, maybe that's just a, a boss that we are going to miss permanently. Which is a shame, really. Nope, he's gone. He's long gone. But what I'm going to do is uh, make sure I'm not caught off guard by this ranger. in the gone visit Pate. Pate's area. Pate's gone as well, so... Fuck knows where Pate's gone. But to be fair, I am a uh, hollow at the moment. Uh, you guys know that you have to be a human in order to summon signs. Uh, so, I'm thinking... Oh, fuck! Jesus, roll out the way, son. Esther's last time. I got caught off guard. I'm going to target on this son bitch. Oh, bitch slap, I missed. There we go, now he's dead. Right. I'm going to shimmy down this ladder. So, yeah, that gate is still locked. It, I don't think there's another way in there. Is there? Nay, so we've missed out on that treasure. Which is most unfortunate, but it's... Well, I can't see it really being something that... Uh, is really important, right? Oh no, there's a ladder. Let's check this ladder and see if we can actually head back in there, because if we can, we can find out where the hell that treasure is. See what it is. And then we is good to go. So yeah, we can head back in. Yay. Well, that's... No, we can't. Nope, we definitely can't. Arg. Well, that's a crying shame. Actually, we can drop down here. Albeit at the expense of our life force, but at least we can find the hidden area. So apparently, it, you don't have to bash the door down. You have to press the A button. And B1, uh, Ben, told me that it was at the end of this corridor. The long corridor where you get ambushed. So it's going to be on one of these walls here. And you guys remember, it, when I actually went through this area, I went through a phase of bashing all of the walls in here, just in case we did have some treasure. So let's find out what the hell this treasure is, just to fill in the blanks. So this is a very filling in the blank episode. Uh, but of course, filling in the blanks, this is a blind let's play walkthrough, folks. Uh, I'm a completionist in every possible sense of the word. I like to see everything. So we've got a life gem here. So it's going to be at the end of here somewhere. Let's check it out. Nope. Yep, okay. Nice one, B1, my good friend and companion and partner in crime. I got B1 completely shit wrecked on his birthday, folks. 20, 24 years old. And I bought him 10 shots. And many whiskies were consumed. And some bitch was off his tits. What a glorious day. So thank you, B1. I consider that repayment for me getting you shit wrecked on your birthday. The power of text message when you're playing blind. But yeah! kill the ranger and then uh, I think uh, we've got I haven't really got anybody anywhere oh no there was a few more locked doors in this tower in Cardinal's tower and now we've got the soldiers key maybe they will open so I've got a chest opening here let's see what we've got so let's see if this treasure is actually worth it as I consume the rest of my caffeinated beverage a sorcerer's staff and an amber herb okay so it's a mage oriented weapon as well, much like uh, the uh, fire longsword. I'm not really a mage person though, so... But it fills in a blank that I sadly left. And I don't like blanks. And I don't, especially don't like firing blanks. Yep, I went there. So, we now need to work our way back down this tower. I've got my life gems equipped just in case I take some damage because this fat bastard usually has a tendency to catch me off guard with his very beastly powerful attack. Looks like a giant knight turtle thing. Oh god, roll out the way! Completely shit myself there. It doesn't help that the firebomb sons of bitches are still going strong. 
So it's all about timing this this bro. <laughs> That's bad timing to say the least. No, he he he's very nasty in the sense that he will knock us down. He's got his little bros after us as well. Oh god! I died! I died! Ring of life protection is broken. What the hell is ring of life protection? What the hell is Ring of Life Protection? Is that the one that makes keep our souls? Have, have I got the wrong ring equipped? Jesus, I suck at this game. Yeah, so we keep our souls, but the ring breaks. Ring of Life Protection is knackered. Yes, I've got the wrong ring equipped. Where's the one that increases my hit points? Ring of Restoration. That's the one that I required. Oh, damn it. Well, at least we kept our souls. Now we just need to head back. In fact, I don't even need to go this way now. Maybe death is a sweet release into the areas of... Shut up, Wayne. Okay, so I died by accident. Now we need to just head back and that's all there is to it. Oh, someone tweeted me a comment or posted a comment. Oh God, I forgot about these guys as well. I suck at this game. I'm still getting used to it, this is just the first comeback episode, and I'm getting the shit kicked out of me. Oh god, just roll out the way, you fucking idiot. Right, I'm going to Estus up. I've got a few locked doors. Someone mentioned in the snowy altar area of the mansion in uh, Medulla, what if you light the torches in that area? Will a secret path be revealed? Now that's a very good theory that I'm going to put to the test as well in this episode. First things first, let's see if this some bitch doors open. I hate shielded cunts. Oh, fuck off! Look, I've got a giant sword. The least you could do is break your parry. Thank you. Fuck. Does this open? Yes! Use the soldier's key and we can get in here. Excellent! Now that was sudden thinking that really paid off, so fair enough. Now we just need to kill this bro. Oh, shit. So apparently, folks, if you are also playing blind, this is the first time that you're seeing this. Any Dark Souls footage, which is awesome, thank you. Uh, but the soldier's key opens this door as well as the other door. And I, sh I am shit at this game at the moment. It's my first time playing since, my, since the day before release day, so it's been over a week. Which is a bastard, but work comes first, unfortunately. Very most unfortunately. But the soldier's key opens this door. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just a boulder. What have we got there? Anything at all here? Nothing at all. Uh, it looks like a rooftop that we can't get to. We do not have access to that rooftop. I don't like the looks of that. Do you not like the looks of that door? Maybe I should go and spend my souls first. Is there another path leading upwards? With a soul and... That's it? Okay, just a soul. Soul of Nameless Soldier and the Life Gem. Lovely stuff. So we're, we, we are very high up right now. Uh, that looks like that looks like it's going to lead to a boss area, doesn't it? We've got a catapult there. A few... Uh, what would you call them? Those catapult things. Probably catapults. So these are probably going to ambush us as soon as we enter this mist. So what I'm going to do is... Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, it's this prick again! I'm not, I'm not excited. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Right, so this guy is actually a boss now, so we, maybe we couldn't kill him the first time, I'm not sure. Okay, I've seen that, let's go. The Pursuer. Okay, so he's called the Pursuer. And I am stuck here. The Pursuer. What a name, that's an awesome name. Right, I need to block... I didn't expect to get into a boss fight, to be honest, so I'm a bit bit scared. He's, he's angry. He's angry. I've only got one extra splash. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm definitely dead. Well, you're a cunt, pursuer. Well, at least we know at the top of the Cardinal's Tower is a boss by the name of the pursuer. That's something. That's something. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do is head straight back to Medulla. Uh, head back to Medulla. 
the far fire. I'm going to light my torch and see if we can uh, light that snowy altar. If we can light the snowy altar, then that's a good thing, isn't it? Well, that was just some something that someone uh, tweeted to me or commented on YouTube. Uh, saying that, what if you light the torch in the mansion, will you get something? Will the snowy altar be opened? Now, that is a theory. I remember commenting on the snowy altar thinking, well, that looks odd. It looks like there's something behind there. But it didn't occur to me to actually, you know, try to open the door using fire. Noob mistakes. So I'm going to head straight down into the basement. This is the snowy altar here. That's what the thing I was talking about. But is there a torch at all? Is there a torch at all to actually light? I don't think there is. Not by the looks of it. Let's check if, uh, Let's check down here. My phone is ringing and I'm not answering it because I'm playing a video game. Priorities. It's probably only works so then. Wayne, can you come in today? Nope. Playing video games. Go fuck yourselves. Get somebody else to do your job. Right, no fire. There's no, there's no torches at all. A uh, very good theory person who posted that, but I can't seem to see anywhere to light this unless there's actually a torch within the mansion itself. I'm just running around mashing the A button right now. Is this something? Nope. Running around mashing the A button because you never know when something is going to pop up. There's got to be a reason for this snowy altar in the middle of nowhere. It just, it just, it's, it's out of place in my opinion. It looks like it, you, you would have to open it. It's what it looks like to me. Hmm. Maybe if I use the fire here. Nope. Maybe there's a torch in the mansion. I know we're 31 minutes in, folks, but uh, I really want to end this on a certain point rather than. Yeah. Let's check this out. Have I been this way? Of course I've been this way. I've fully explored this mansion in the past, so. Let's just, uh, we've got that giant book. No one's inhabiting this place yet. I kind of expected that weird map guy, the cartographer, who we met to uh, re-return uh, to this place. But, as of yet, nothing at all. Uh, we've seen many more NPCs as well. But no, none are choosing to inhabit this place at all. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look like there's a torch to light at all, so... That's unfortunate. I really was hoping that that would happen. Okay, so let's let's cover what we have discovered in this episode. We know that there's a new boss at the uh, Cardinal's Tower, the very top of the Cardinal's Tower. That is the Pursuer. The Pursuer whooped our ass because we went in without Astus flasks. We went in unprepared and uneducated, in the sense that we knew we didn't know that it was going to be. Oh, a torch. Okay. I didn't say I didn't see that the first time I came in here. Now I have my volume down so as to not interrupt or cause an echo in the recording process. So maybe that opened a door. No. Well, it was worth a try. We found a torch. There's nothing. Are, are you sure? Yeah, I guess that's just to set light. If you're playing with the brightness down like you're supposed to, which I'm not doing. Oh well, it was worth a shot. Let's cover what we've done. We've found a few new secret areas. We've completely explored, to my knowledge, the Cardinal's Tower using the Soldier's Key. We've unlocked a few doors. We've found a couple of new secret areas. One of which that I apparently found by accident when I died. And uh, yeah, in the last time I played. I don't remember dying in that area, but apparently I did. I must have done it off camera. Maybe I did it off camera. But I haven't played off camera, so... Uh, maybe I just did a little bit of exploring before I uh, ended my recording session. I don't know. Uh, I do not remember uh, falling down that area, but apparently I did. So we found a lot of new treasure. We found a new boss that whooped our ass. And we have explored the snowy altar to confirm that there's no, there's nothing opening in that area. So when we return for episode 12, I've got a feel for the controls again. I may restore my humanity. And then we will continue exploring areas of past that we have uh, not explored for a while. Just to see if anything new has unlocked. Then I may return to the Pursuer. I think I need to level up a bit before I can take him on because I can't really... Well, then again, we struggled with the Dragon Rider and then he 
we whopped his ass in anyway. So I think it's all just a learning curve, timing between his moves and the way he acts. So that's something that we have got to look forward to. Well, that you've got to look forward to because you guys know that I'm going to rage quit a few times on that boss like I did with the Dragon Rider until I get a feel for his attacks and his movements. So thank you for watching. I know this has been a relatively slow episode while I get used to the control schemes and the exploration side of things again, but I have had a week's break away from it. So yeah. When we return for episode 12, I hope that we will get this show on the road properly, my friends. This has been an introduction episode into the next recording session. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed playing it. I've enjoyed exploring. I've enjoyed discovering all these new things that I've yet to discover. It just makes me think how many things that we are going to see in the series ongoing that I'm going to see in this game ongoing while I'm playing through it. So I can't thank you enough. I've crossed 14,000 subscribers, and it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you, all the best, and goodbye.